Hello from guys. So I just recently just did a Facebook live, Facebook live video just five minutes ago and uh, like just played it back and the quality was actually really bad. There was a lot of uh, skittering, so I think there was a problem with my internet. Hopefully that's fixed now. But I just really, really want to quickly go through the points uh, I just mentioned uh, in that Facebook live. Um, my general point was is that uh, like look, things are not going to improve. Uh, quickly soon you know you still got, we can talk about uh, how racist the media is and how racist politicians are uh, and you know um, and you know just generally how uh, these attacks may happen and so on and we need to take proactive steps towards that there's no one saying that right but like given that we know that this is going to happen again and given that for a while, this is not the first time a terrorist attack has happened at a random mosque in the West, um, uh, or in like a, uh, a country like you know uh, the West uh, in uh, Europe or Australia or New Zealand, now, how many uh, how many times do we have to see a mosque be completely whole, hopefully unprepared to deal with such attacks like terror attacks? How many times do we have to see this across our own screens for us to be able to essentially deal with this effectively? And it seems that every single time, yeah, mosques are not taking the steps, basic steps for them to essentially protect themselves, okay? And like, just simple ideas are not even being asked of by organizations or by mosques themselves. Do they have CCTV? Do they do self-defense classes, yeah? Uh, do they have uh, why are they not hiring security during ramadan or Jumma? yeah when there's real big congregations if they're in a country that you're allowed to carry guns do security allow to carry guns yeah to defend mosques okay this isn't that doesn't take even these things that they don't take a genius to work out yeah and yet we don't see that happening just just this week, like five mosques have been vandalized by a sledge, someone going around with a sledgehammer. Yeah? And yet, when you look at hate crime or attacks on mosques, whether it's in the UK or in France or in Germany or, or America, every single time there is no preparation, there is no defense, there is no planning of what to do when a mosque is attacked whether it's vandalized or whether people are going in with guns. And like, you've got to ask yourself, why is it there no forward planning? Yeah? Why is it that, you know, we're living in a time where people are scared, Muslims are scared, children and their families are scared. Yet how many mosques are actually doing anything to protect their own congregation? Ridiculous. When you pay your taxes, you expect the best of service from any public service, right? And you do. But why is it when Muslims go inside the mosque, suddenly they go dumb? You just give money and you expect nothing in return. And if the best, the best reaction I've seen from Muslims in the UK this week is begging a racist, Isla a provenly Islamophobic government for more police protection. Seriously, is that the best we can do? What about the laws that they have created? Prevent Schedule 7 and so on, right? What about those laws that are institutionally normalizing our persecution? Are we not going to call for those to be repealed? No, we just want ra to racist Theresa May to give us more police. Are you for real? That's the best we can do? Yeah, and this again goes back to the masjids, right? How many masjids in the UK are part of pre uh, prevent? There is no legal obligation to be for them to be part of pre prevent. And yet, when whenever we raise this, the usual, usual reaction we get from Muslims is, oh, but they're... They're, ju they're doing other good work. Yeah, really, is that the best reaction that we can get from you? Given that uh, a martial is supporting the normalizing of violence against Muslims, that's okay then. Whatever good that they're doing, that completely wipes any sort of stain. Yeah? And really, is the, is the good that they're doing overrides that? Just think about it for a second. The house of Allah, the leadership of the house of Allah, yeah, where you pray and you worship Allah for be is be is is being used to normalize a policy that is making Islam and the worship of Allah more hated and alien. Just think about that. And it gets even worse. This week, the Lancashire Council of Mosques, yeah, them again.
They were exposed for breaking bread with the board of deputies. Like, honestly. And like anybody who knows anything about the board of deputies know that they are key propagandists for the state of Israel. Pure and simple. They're Zionists. So why is it that religious authorities, those who are tasked by Allah to uphold the truth, is breaking bread with Zionists? Why? These are the same people that are not only in bed with killing our brothers and sisters in Palestine. These are people uh, that are in bed with, that there's so much evidence of Zionists collaborating with Islamophobes to further our demonization, our persecution across the world. There's so much public evidence out there. So why is it that the, the, the Lancashire Council of Mosques are, in, are, are breaking bread with them? Why? That only tells you two things. Either they are so incompetent, they don't understand who they're speaking to, or they're down, down, uh, uh, straight up malicious, and they're straight up willfully selling you out and the rest of the Ummah with it. Okay? And that's why accountability is so important. Because otherwise, we get awful leadership. Yeah, that's going to sell you dry, completely. Okay? And I guess... What I'm trying to say here is that if the best reaction, we as Muslims, the best reaction that we have towards the, the murder of our brothers and sisters gunned down in, in their masjids around the world, how is this nightmare going to end? Seriously, how is it going to end? How is it going to not get worse? Yeah, because really what we've done to the Islamophobes that are in power We've just, we've just like, we, we haven't done anything. We haven't challenged their power. We've just hit them on the wrist and that's it. Yeah. What is it that we're going to do? One, to protect ourselves, but also stop institutions, our own institutions that we pay money to, to from selling us out and to challenge the power. And what I'm trying to get to you here is that we need to be smarter across the board. Our own institutions, no matter how massive they are, they are not demanding the right demands for us to be equal and for our ummah to be free. And that's something we really need to consider right now. That's all I have right now. Um, but, you know, thank you for listening again. And uh, Jazakallah khair and uh, Asalaamu Alaikum.